Hi everybody, it's Fragrant Jock here with another Honest Opinion. Today's Honest Opinion is on a Lalique. Uh, it's Lalique, I think I can focus in. Los Le Compositions, Fragrances, Glorious Indigo. This is a wee label thing that goes over the box. This is the box here. It's a kind of magnetic opening. Yeah, I can get it open with one hand. Opens like that, almost like a book. Um, and the fragrance sits in there. The uh, presentation is very good. Lalique specialise in crystal wear, um, and you can tell most of their bottles are excellent, solid. This frosted glass, that's a bit tacky, but a really nice bottle. At the moment, it's retailing on Natino for £160, but I get this in a deal on All Beauty for about 70 odds, £80, so I snapped it up. Um, I don't think there's any left in the Indigo Blue. There was only one other opinion on this fragrance on uh, YouTube, and it was a girl that was doing it, and it was just a brief kind of opinion that she liked it. She had bought a few of them, and this was one of the ones that she liked. Um, it's totally unisex. Um, I've worn it a couple of times. Um, as I say, shop around for it. Um, but La leak. I think you do get value for money. These are the kind of higher priced ones. You do get a lot of um, Lalique on retail that are decently priced for what you're getting. Um, but presentation wise it's good. I don't go for boxes anyway. But the bottles are nice. The fragrance itself is really nice. Um, especially for this time of the year. Um, it's got amber, patchouli, spicy notes, cinnamon papyrus, labdomen, uh, it's got uh, quite a few notes but it's a kind of spicy woody scent, unusual smell, I don't think I've smelled anything like this before, um, I can't really compare it to anything really, um, but I've tried it a few times, I got a sample actually when I ordered another fragrance and I really liked this so I bought it, um, but really nice. Longevity projection, you can smell it right away in projection, but you've, you you almost feel as if after half an hour you can't smell anything, but then a few hours later you get wee wafts of it, so it's a kind of peekaboo scent, and it does last, it certainly lasts in masking for a good few hours, so you know it would cut through the winter no bother, but it is a really, I would say, quite elegant smell, but you could wear this any occasion I would say, definitely worth it's, it's worth a go if you can get a sample or you see it on discount. You know, it's £160 on Natino. I wouldn't pay that. I would wait till it goes down a bit or uh, just it might come back on all beauty. Um, but it really is a lovely scent. Um, as I say, I've tried it a few times and it really is nice. It's quite unusual. Uh, it's, it's mostly, it's mostly kind of spicy kind of cinnamon woody i get kind of unusual with the lab in them there it, it really is quite unusual um, but a really really nice scent anyway just a quick honest opinion as i say i totally recommend this but shop around or get a sample i wouldn't recommend to blind buy it because it is quite expensive my next honest opinion <laughs> honest opinion is on a fragrance that i stumbled across uh, <laughs> and it's quite funny. Philip Pline uh, has got a fragrance out. It's called No Limits. Well, he's got a couple. He's got three actually that I can see. He's got this something called the Skull, which is about one hundred and ninety pound, which I wouldn't buy. Um, just too too much. Uh, he's got No Limits Super Fresh, and he's got No Limits. I've I, I've actually ordered the Super Fresh and the No Limits original. Now I've looked at the advertisements for No, no Limits and. <laughs> Although it's really, really, really kind of, you know what I mean? A lot of people pan the, the advertisements and, uh, you know, the fact that the bottles are credit card and things like that. But, you know, I don't take life too serious. I think, I don't think he does either. And I think that's the whole thing of it. You know what I mean? I love the advertisement when he's got the money gun and he's just shooting it out. That's, that's superb. Very tacky, but I like that stuff. It appeals to my humour. Um, but Philip Klein, yeah, it's in a credit card kind of thing. And to be honest with you, gent sense who's 
quite respected on the community. He gave it a really good uh, review, and most people that have reviewed it, believe it or not, have gave it a great review. So I'm really eager to try this and tell you my honest opinion on it, and it will be an honest opinion straight up. I might actually do an unboxing of it and just try it first off and, and tell you what I think. But that's something to look forward to. Hopefully it will be here this week because there is a postal strike in uh, UK and that's kind of delaying everything. But I hope everybody's safe and well. As I say, I totally recommend this. It's, it's nothing like anything else that you'll try unless there's something I've missed. Um, it really is an unusual, kind of spicy, woody scent, quite elegant. Definitely, I would say, it's more suited to dressing up, but you could wear it on any occasion, in any age, and any gender. Um, it really is a lovely fragrance. Uh, and as I say, Lalique, you do get value for money. This is one of the higher-end ones, though. Anyway, I hope everybody's safe and well. Bye for now.